Hello, 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 and happy Monday to all of my amazing gods and goddesses. Aquarius, we're in the age of Aquarius. I love it, love it, love it. Hey, listen, Aquarius, we're going to talk about chakras. A lot of people have been, um, you know, from the last video, the last video uh, labeled the number nine, when we talked about uh, the root chakra. So today we're going to talk a little bit about the sacral chakra and what that means for men and women. Yes, indeedy. Um, and when that develops and how to be able to tell when it's out of alignment and all those wonderful things. And again, you know that this is a general tarot card reading. So please take what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, go to my website, which was created by an Aquarius. Um, go to queenamura.com and click on schedule your session. Um, my link is going to be down below. All right, let's go. Most High God in the Universe, please give me a special reading for my amazing gods and goddesses in human form. My Aquarius, in every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality, and where they need to take action. You know who I'm talking to. I'm talking to my free-spirited intellectual humanitarians who are also very open-minded, progressive, original, independent, unique, friendly, and powerful water bearers. Yes, Aquarius. Oh my God, so many messages are already coming through as I'm shuffling these cards for you all. Again, happy Monday to each and every one of you all I know you all are you had a great weekend I know you you set your intentions when you woke up today to have a great day and that's exactly what you are having not will have but that's what you are having you're creating a great day Aquarius this is so 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 good look at this oh my god the devil card was the first card out listen if anybody is operating in any kind of fear of what's to come I see it falling out of range as we move closer and closer to the full moon, it's going to fall more and more out of range every single day. So that's what I want you all to focus on is just like not being afraid of change, not being afraid to move forward. Like I said, this devil card, um, some of you all may have Capricorn in your chart somewhere in your chart. You may be on the cusp of Capricorn Aquarius. Um, but I can see some of you all have a really tricky relationship with fear false evidence that appears real. Some of you all have a tricky relationship with doubt. Like, uh, I'm not really sure if things are going to head in the direction I want it to. But look at this. Here we have the Ten of Cups. Uh-huh. Make a little room here. These are, look at the um, Ace of Cups, right? We have the Queen of Wands. And we have the Ace of Swords, right? So listen, I see you all eventually getting here. See, a lot for, for a lot of you all, you feel like this is new territory, like really, really just kind of opening your heart up again, right? Because you all are a very, you love hard, you love deep. But remember, you all are the smartest sign in the Zodiac and really the most powerful sign in the Zodiac because your symbol is a human walking upright, right? Um which is the smartest animal, right? Walking upright and with a water bearer. I mean, with a, with a water container, right? So water represents emotions and creativity. Air, your air sign, everybody, every living being needs air to survive, right? You snatch the air away, how long are they going to live? Maybe two, three seconds of that long. You take your air, your emotions and your creativity away. There's nothing left, right? People can only live for a short amount of time with, so instead of giving droplets of air to, and um, droplets of water in any air to situations that you have severed ties with, that could be a person, place, or thing, whether it's family members, old friends, ex, it doesn't matter, exes, it doesn't matter. Don't give any energy to it whatsoever, because that right there is going to trigger that fear inside of you, right? Some of you all really, really long to be in happy, healthy, um, harmonious relationships, right? But this, but first and foremost, that happy, healthy, harmonious relationship starts with you, Aquarius. And again, not everybody is interested in getting married. I, I have to reiterate this because you all are a very independent sign. And I don't want you all to mistake seeing two people sitting on the rainbow as, oh, I have to get married. No, you do not. You can be completely happy being in healthy partnerships with people, right? 
or but but it has to start with you first so that you don't become bitter and this heart starts to shrink right yes we have almost nine billion people on the planet aquarius so when i look at this what i'm seeing here is this is you and you your divine masculine to your divine feminine because you're divine masculine by default your energy is directed outward right but this is you loving more on yourselves this is a little girl or little boy in you really being harmonious with yourselves right so in comes the sacral chakra which is connected to water element which the cups energy is water right <laughs> so the sacral chakra is located at the center of your pelvis this is associated with the element of water and it's your sense of taste right so it develops between the ages of 8 and 14 a period of great hormonal changes right and so this is where your your sexual awakening happening is happening right and so during that time you're gonna um you know that's when you kind of started developing you know like your best friend like you know how you start emotionally start feeling like okay this is my best friend that energy right those emotions your heart it's like and it's not in necessarily in a sexual way right um um that's during that time you you know later on you know um you begin to kind of sort of experiment with your first romantic crushes or coupling. You may have a crush on somebody like at 12, 13, 14, whatever. But at eight, you're thinking more of less like, you know, oh, that's my best friend. You know, we have the same, you know, we have the same shoes on. Our hair is the same way or maybe we're the same complexion or maybe our parents get along. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you don't want that those emotions to be out of balance and some of the some of the way and the color for that is orange like orange like the color of this book right here the cover of the like the background of this book the love songs by wve dubois so anyway when we look at when we look at um how big your heart has always been which the, and the heart chakra and we'll, we'll get to that eventually um is, is connected to the air element when you're air sign we know you have a big heart. We know you love deep and you love hard, right? But so when your sacral chakra is out of alignment, you have sexual rigidity. Um, for some people, you may have um, joint problems. You may feel dehydrated. Um, drink water because, again, it's water. It's, it's connected to the water element. So if you're feeling dehydrated, and you're, this largest organ is going to tell you, right, because you, you know, you'll feel it, right? Um, you may be resistant to change. And the, the fact that you all are a fixed sign, you want to make sure, I'm telling you, Aquarius, you want to make sure you do more nurturing of yourselves because you have water right there in your hand as a water bearer, right? Remember, that represents um, emotions and creativity, right? So this is how you come to this place right here. If you feel like you need to take a break from everything because you all are thinkers you all are constantly thinking even when you're lying down trying to rest and go to sleep that's why i always say you know listen to your meditation music with like water playing in the background or something that's going to help you ease off the sleep like do a detox at night like take a shower take a bath um run some water meditate to water sounds in the background again you want to Pour that water, but the pure water back into your, your body after you have poured out to so many people during the day or however, whatever time of the day, right? You pour it out to people. This is how you go back to nurturing yourselves. Okay, Aquarius. So again, it's not necessarily about um, feeling like you have to be married or feeling like you have to be in a romantic relationship, Aquarius. This is really about learning how to nurture yourself and sitting back and what you receive from. This is so, so, so important. I really hope that somebody gets this because you need to divorce false evidence that appears real. I don't care what you're going through outside of your body. I don't care what else they are doing or wh whatever they are doing. I don't care what else is going on outside of your body, Aquarius. For you, once a relationship is over, your, your superpower, Aquarius, is to remove the air and remove the water from the situation and move on. Because you are not their God and they are not your God. I don't care what the situation is. Remove the air and remove the water. Because air represents your power and your intellect. Water represents your creativity and your emotions. Remove all of it. Remove all of it. Let God take care. Let the God in them help them to the next level. Right? Yes. Right? Matter of fact, what's coming through to me, because we're, we are... Um, 
we're approximately 13 days away from the next full moon, right? And so see this full moon right here? And this 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 moon card is attached to Pisces, even though the moon is Cancer's ruling planet. Both of them are in the water element. But again, some of you all are really afraid of really loving yourselves deeper. It's like, you know, some people have to jump from one relationship to the next, like getting that emotion from somewhere else. I gotta, I gotta, I, I gotta be validated by my job. My job, I gotta always hear from my job. You're doing a great job you know, in order for me to feel better. I got to, I got to hear from my spouse and my significant other. I really love you today. I got to, you know, I, I just, I need to hear that when you don't even realize you have right there with you water. Our bodies are made up of a large percentage of water. So you've been giving, because remember your energy is directed outward. So you give a lot of people, a lot of your energy, a lot of your creativity, a lot of your emotions, right? And then when you are depleted because you are a giver, and a humanitarian, like I said, very free-spirited, very open-minded, so you're not judgmental at all, Aquarius, and you're giving all of that out, Aquarius, you need to replenish, but it's what you replenish with, and that's the key for you. I really want you all to get this and really remember this, right? Because again, if, you're, um, if your sacral chakra is out of alignment, remember sacral chakra is connected to water element, right? That water is creativity and emotions. You all are very smart sign, so I know you all get this. Then you'll have sexual promiscuity. You'll feel codependent. Like, again, I'm looking for something outside of myself to refill my emotions. And actually, you already have it with you. You have it with you. You all are light years ahead. So for you all to go backwards, like to, to exist in a space where you're moving backwards, Aquarius, is going to... And I'm going to need to pick this back up again. Because this is where your breakthrough is going to come through. Really listening to what I'm telling you and really applying it to your own life. There are some relationships that you left behind. I'm telling you, when you start to think, wait a minute, hold on. That that energy sucked all the emotions and creativity out of me. They never supported my ideas. They thought I was strange, weird, and odd. They they and this could be family, it could be parents, it could be you know, ex, ex romantic relationships. It could be a job, whatever it is, Aquarius. These people really literally suck the, they suck all the, the, the creativity and the, uh, the water out of me. And I didn't even realize I had, you know, water, pure water, right? In my cistern, in my container, that's where the breakthrough is going to come from. And that's where you're going to find your inner peace and your heart is going to burst wide open like, oh my God, I I know that I am a loving person. I am a nice person. I genuinely care about people. You know, now I'm going to go where I'm appreciated, not where I'm tolerated. Now I'm not desperate to be in a relationship with the person, you know, like in a romantic relationship with the person because I love me. So that's going to, that's going to change a lot of how you move. I'm telling you, some of you, even if you came back across an ex or a family member or like an ex person that you really, really love, you're going to think to yourself, man, I wish I had known that then, right? I wish I had known that I had that water right there in me, right? Like I had that water, that container of water, those cre that creativity and that emotions. So what that means is that this, because this is how I'm seeing you all feel like really on fire, really feeling motivated, just free because you're going to feel like, you know what? That family that never supported my creativity, whether I wanted to write a book, whether I wanted to sing, dance, you know, uh, open up a crystal and gemstone shop, whatever, whatever, read cards, whatever. That family did not, that didn't support me. It's okay because there are almost 9 billion people on the planet that I can create my own family. I can create my own soul tribe. I can create my own, um, I can create space to receive because remember you all are givers. This is about receiving. I can create space to receive from people who appreciate me, not just people who tolerate me. The number 13 means that you may experience many changes that are meant to transform and empower you throughout your life. 13 resonates to a genius quality and you definitely have an out of a box approach to life. It also means that you can attract sudden changes that are meant to keep you alert, meant to keep you aware. Yes. Birth, life, death, rebirth is consistent. And weaving throughout your entire life. That's the number 13, right? So like I said, we're approximately 13 days away. 
This right here lets me know that there's perfect synergy with your money. So now once you divorce fear, then guess what? Perfect synergy with your money, right? And again, the energy of money, all of this is energy. Fear, doubt, all of that is energy, right? But you are removing that from your plate so that you can operate in a space where you are in full humanitarian mode. Like I always tell people, Aquarians are humanitarians through and through to the bone, Love helping people, are not haters, are not hoarders of information. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're not, thank you for coming back. I know I say this part often about, but I need to, I need you all to understand just how amazing and how awesome you are as a sign, right? And how progressive you all are. Start removing fear, start removing doubt, start being in a posture of gratitude, thanking God, like, man, you know what? I remember where I used to be. Remember that sacral chakra, like that part of you that that intimacy you know that part of you that's uh creativity the emotions you know surrendering that sexuality that you know um you know just feeling great about your emotions like um no matter how odd or different or strange it seems you all are so like i said light years ahead of everybody so again your ideas that seem strange to people now trust they're going to be they are going to be talking about that same thing years later whether they give you credit for it or not hey <laughs> you thought of it first right you were so anyway here we have the three of pentacles and i'm seeing like i say perfect synergy when it comes to money this is what you all will be receiving so that you can create jobs for other people so that you can create centers so you can really really be in full humanitarian mode because that's what you need this energy right here to um to accomplish some of the goals that you set out for yourself aquarians are very seldom you know um wanting money so that they can have the big house the big cars the the flashiness and the whole other y'all there are some signs that you know they liked all of that but not the aquarius you all are really like you don't hear about certain billionaires aquarius billionaires being flashy or anything like that but you may hear and and here's another beautiful thing about Aquarius: you all don't announce it like you all could be doing things for people all over the world and nobody will ever really know. But then you, by contrast, when people are trying to kind of poke the bear Aquarius, because again, here we have the queen of pentacles. This is also in receiving mode, right? This is you receiving money. And we have the four of pentacles. I see a lot of you all traveling outside of where you live right now, outside of the country or the continent where you live right now. But it's just going to take some focus. When I tell you that you all are blessed and highly favored, take these blindfolds off and get rid of fear. When I tell false evidence appearing real, it's different than like, you know, you see somebody with a gun or uh, houses on fire or whatever. Get out. You know what I'm saying? Run. That's real fear. That's evidence. But I see a lot of fear. You are becoming more and more confident with aligning all of your chakras from your root chakra all the way up to your crown chakra and really just being excited about life and peace and happiness right but you got to remove these blindfolds so that you can see all of it like really look around where you are right now at this very moment Aquarius is not where you used to be that's what you want to be grateful for and then get focused get focused because the closer and closer you move to um the closer and closer you move to the full moon the more and more see how this person this energy is falling out of range this is falling out of range for you you're going to become more and more and more confident so that you can make room for things i'm telling you some of you all are going to think about people in your life you may even come across a picture of an ex uh, uh think about family members and situations and you're going to thank god i'm serious <laughs> You're going to thank God. You're going to say, God, just thank you for real. Like, thank you, thank you, thank you that I am not where I used to be. I'm telling you, people don't understand that energy of gratitude is so, so, so powerful. Instead of complaining, oh my God, I'm going through this and why? And these transitions. Because remember, we're this is still very new moon energy. It's a waxing crescent moon at like 7% currently, but still... It's, uh, this is still very new moon. We're moving towards this full moon. So it's becoming a little bit more illuminated every single day. And then you're going to realize one day, you know what, what, what was I fearful of? This, there was nothing for me to fear. Okay. Use your hands, right? So five plus three is eight. Eight is the money exchange number. So we look at the top of a number eight. Let me see if I have an eight here on the table anywhere. I don't. But you look at the top of the number eight and it's two windows. The top of the eight is for vision. The bottom of the eight is for good services, 
goods, products, and services, and right? And so whatever you visualize for yourself, if you see yourself traveling and helping people all over the world and donating and creating foundations and all of this other stuff, it's time to go for it, Aquarius. Remove fear and doubt. It gradually, like you don't have to just today, oh, oh you know what, I'm fearless. Let me just go out and do something, you know, uh, let's just go make some kind of like radical change, whatever. No, be gentle with yourself because again, this is really about tapping into your divine feminine selves. Because you remember, your, I, got, I got to reiterate this part, Aquarius. When I look at this, these cards right here, so much is coming your way, but you got, you got to get rid of the fear, the false evidence appearing real. What is this person going to think about me if I pursue my dreams? You worry about rumors and, and people running smear campaigns or whatever. Guess what, Aquarius? That is the karma that they are creating for themselves. But I love this spread for you because this is really letting me know you're, you are starting to really fall in love with yourselves, like having a crush on yourself, like that sacral chakra, right? You are starting to really love, be intimate with yourselves. And I'm not talking about sexually intimate, but just like, you know what? I do really love every part of me. I don't wish I was somebody else. Like I'm, I'm really feeling this. I'm really loving myself. I'm loving my life. That is what I have for you, Aquarius. Continue having a fantastic week. I know you are because that is the intention you set. Bye.